Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a stuck on loading screen for Oblivion Remastered. There's a couple of different fixes, so try not to skip them. This is going to be uh, similar for both a Steam and oh, Xbox app versions, but open up the games folder. On the Xbox app, you right click on it, click on manage, hit files, hit browse. You'll see uh, this uh, Elder Scrolls here, click on that, content, Oblivion Remastered. Binaries Win GDK uh, on the uh, Steam version. This will just be called Windows, I believe, or Win64. Click on this, and you're gonna see an executable called this. You want to right-click on this, uh, hit Properties, Compatibility. You want to run this game as an administrator and disable full screen optimizations. Hit Apply. Hit OK, and then start the game as normal. The next thing you want to do is to limit CPU threads, but I can only do this while the game is running. So let me start up the game. And while the game is running, uh, click on Control, Shift, and Escape to bring up a Task Manager. In a Task Manager, what you want to do is look for the same executable that we just had, the Oblivion Remastered. So go into processes for here. It should look like something like this. You want to right click on this. I'm sorry, you should go to the details page tab. You want to find the executable and to right click on this, click on set affinity. And for what here, you want to uncheck half of the cores. Uh, for example, I'm on uh, 23. Uh, so you want to uh, uncheck all processors and check um, the first half of them. So let's say up until about 12, because I have uh, 23 of them, let's say 11. Hit OK, and that should fix the issue. Try that for a while to see if that fixes the issue. Okay, next thing we want to do, go back into the file uh, where it's installed. So click on Manage, go to Files, go to Browse, go back to here. I'm sorry, uh, go to C, not where it is installed. Uh, go to uh, users, uh, your username. Go to documents, my games, uh, Oblivion Remastered. Saved, config, and WinGDK. This will be Windows on Steam. And here you're going to see uh, an engine.ini file right here. You want to right click on this. You want to say open with notepad and it's going to look something like this. Now on the very bottom, you want to paste something in here. I made a cool little notion just for this. On the very bottom, you want to paste this and I'll put this in the video uh, in a pin comment below. And then you want to uh, paste that in, click save and then launch the game as normal and see if that fixes the issue. The next thing you want to do is disable Windows Defender. So go to Windows Security here. Uh, you want to see Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down until you see Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Click on Manage Settings. And here you're gonna see Real-Time Protection. Uh, what you wanna do is either Disable it and see if that fixes the issue. If it did fix the issue, what you want to do is allow the save game folder uh, through the threat protection, uh, but it's just basically easier simply to turn this off while playing the game. This game does not seem to play well when the game is saving, uh, causing this uh, crash to occur. So make sure that you are considered turning that off. The next thing you want to do is uh, if you're running on Steam, you want to disable the Steam overlay. So find the game within your library, right click on it, go to properties under general. You're gonna see something called enable the Steam overlay while in game. You want to make sure that this is off. You also want to make sure that the Nvidia uh, Steam overlay is off as well. Um, there are a couple of ways to do this. Either way, make sure that it is off. Make sure that your drivers are also up to date. And I would also turn off uh, the Discord overlay as well. 
And that is it. That should have fixed the issue for you. If this video helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.